Hi, crafty friends. This is Amanda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Michigan. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Today, I'd like to share with you the cutest, simplest, fastest four-minute card there is. Great fun. I had so much fun. And we're going to be stamping down with Fresh Freesia and Gorgeous Grape and Coastal Cabana. We are going to be using the Watercolor Shapes stamp set and a sentiment from In Symmetry. I have to tell you, I am drawn to circles naturally. I love circle stencils. They just appeal to me. So when I saw these watercolor shapes, I was like, yeah, I can use those for sure. I love them. And then, of course, on page 103 of the catalog, the annual catalog, kind of shows you that you can do some overlapping. And I wanted to show you this in real time so that you can see I'm not speeding through this, being very slow. This is how slow I craft. And I'm taking my time and um, I'm even washing my hands a little bit with um, some baby wipes, moving my stamps. You know, I'm not going crazy. And this is under four minutes. So I think that you guys will love the fact that it's so quick. Now I'm stamping one large circle in one color and then two smaller circles of the same color on the outside. So three shapes, three colors, right? Don't you think? Perfect. Uh, I think that it will be visually pleasing for anyone. So then on the inside of the card, I use one large circle of one color and then the other two are just, you know, alternating the other two colors, one of the other colors. So super fun, super cute. Love this card. Now the watercolor shapes uh, stamp set is a photopolymer stamp set like you saw, $21. You need to use your stamping piercing mat. Do you notice that I'm closing my stamp sets here? Really? This is a really easy, fun card. It's not done yet. I think it needs a little something, something. So I'm going to stamp the sentiment. Uh, you are perfectly unique from the In Symmetry stamp set. It is a photopolymer stamp set. So again, you need to use that stamping piercing man. And you can get the In Cemetery suite for $49. Comes with a punch stamp set uh, and ooh, designer series paper plus some ribbon. Also, I did not get the punch. I just got the stamp set because I thought I'd like it. I like the paper, but I didn't get that yet. You understand. So I will cut this out with a circle. Of course, what else would I use? And then voila, I have a very cute sentiment. Now, this you are perfectly unique. Sentiment could be for anything. It could be for, hey, how are you? I miss you. I'm thinking of you. Anything like that. Because, you know, it's a sentiment that could mean anything. And so for those kind of cards, I use a four and a quarter by five and a half, which is an A2 traditional size U.S. card. Now, I did not try a five by seven. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Because this was the end of my day and I wanted to get as many different colors out. But then my husband's like, all right, Amanda, it's really time for you to come upstairs. Stop being down there. So look, guys, under four minutes. Cute, cute, cute card. I'm going to make a little change here to my, I'm going to cut these off at a certain angle. Can you believe that? Cute card. I love this card. So fun. What do you think? Let me know. I have some other colors that I think you might like. So let's go with polished pink <laughs> and um, Daffodil Delight and Pacific Point. I thought that I could do a rainbow. It didn't work so well. I mean, there's no rainbowy things here. So I think it's really important to do the right color combos. I mean, 
I put that to the side and we didn't talk about that again. All right. So this is my favorite combo. So I'm going to do it one more time to show you that it really, you can change it up and it can be different uh, each time. I, you know, you put your circles just somewhere and it looks unique each time you do it. So that's always fun, right? Uh, you can also cut this, you can cut this panel down and it could be layered on a card, which I'll do in a little bit. And, you know, you can put that at the top or the bottom and we're all good. Now, I will show you all these cards done at the end. So if you didn't get to see those two, you know, I just wanted to keep this a really sweet, short, sweet and simple um, video because, uh, you know, it's four minute card, under four minute card. Heck, if you had everything out, you could do this in two minutes. If you did all your bits and whatever, you could get this card done in no time. You know, if you stamped all of your sentiments out and uh, cut them with circles, perfect. Like I said, you'll want, I think, mm, uh, you need a sentiment that will definitely go in a circle. I wouldn't do any other shape for these. So, yeah. All right. Again, we're going to do a very pretty pink. And I think we switched over to Melon Mambo. Then we did Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana. This is one of my favorites. Very fun. And look, I did it right over those two, and I think it looks great. I'm going to add on with a black piece of cardstock and use some glittery ribbon. Now, most of these, well, all of these cards have ribbon because I think it just gives it a little bit of something, something extra. You understand. Um, and so I've, I've said you understand a lot. At least I deleted one of the voiceovers that said you understand about 1,200 times. And so I thought I would do it over again and say, not again, you understand a lot. But my pale papaya looks kind of funny. So I had to restamp it again. But it's not pale papaya. Pardon me. It's so saffron. But it still looked a little wonky. So uh, Night of Navy, or you could do Misty Moonlight. A little bit of uh, soft, ooh, that's not the right color I want to talk about. Hmm. Soft slate? No, smoky slate to go with the ribbon. And so we got uh, Night of Navy or Misty Moonlight smoky slate and so saffron. I really like that. Now the smoky slate ribbon, $8.50. The black glittery ribbon that we're going to be using, $8.50. And the open weave ribbon is $7. Now the black glittery ribbon is three eighths of an inch. So is the open weave. I think that's a really good, you know, three eighths of an inch is a really good size. The seven eighths is a little bit big. Let me know what you guys think. I'll add this on a Knight of Navy cardstock. And I, you know, just put a little bit of adhesive down, move your ribbon over, easy peasy ribbon. Perfect. Right? Am I wrong? Do you guys absolutely hate it? I'd love to know what you think. Something fun and exciting. Hopefully you like it. Now, I needed some other colors and I wanted to use the pale papaya because, of course, I have pale papaya ribbon. So I typed in on Pinterest, in Stampin' Up combo color combos with So Saffron, and it showed me lots of different ones. So perfect. Those people that add to Pinterest. Love it. Thank you so much. So this is a mint macaroon and pale papaya and hmm, blushing bright. What do you think? Gives a little bit of softer effect, right? Not so bold, maybe very springy. I know we're in summer, but that's okay. We'll add a little mint macaroon backing to this. The inside's the same, but do you like it? I like it. I'm sorry, guys. I know you might think that I'm crazy, but I really, really like the four-minute card because it's easy and fast. All right. I think this might be the last one. Cross your fingers. Again, I um, chose to do a color combo that I found online. We're going to do Blackberry Bliss because there is a Blackberry Bliss ribbon that will be available through the end of June 2021. It is in the mini catalog from the beginning of this year. Unfortunately, it's not staying. Uh, it goes with the sweet, um, the ice cream corner sweet. So that is not staying, just the ice cream corner um, bundle or, you know, the bits of the bundle. So unfortunately, we don't get to keep the 
DSP, which is one of my favorite things to work with now. I'm doing really well on my DSP. So I normally use it, but this is it. I am going to slow things down here for you and show you all the different ones that I made. Let me know what you think. Let me know how your week is going. Let me know, you know, chit chat with me. I love to chit chat with you guys. So here are my different cards. Let me know if you like any of them, what color combos you choose. Thanks so much, guys. See you soon.